Installing the Nutrik and side panel buttons. Before you install the side buttons, you'll want to install your Nutrik USB pass through. This will pass the USB signal from the PCB to the outside, allowing you to easily plug and unplug your cable and reducing wear on the connection to the PCB. Installing this first will save you trouble later, where tight spacing can make it difficult to secure the screws. Before installing, assemble any Nutrik supports you might have, such as the rubber boot or buttercade Nutrik surround. If you're using a Brook PCB, you'll have one of two Nutrik connectors. The standard Nutrik is a simple install. First, make sure that the USB Type-A connector is facing towards the outside. If it isn't, remove the two screws holding it together, slide out the connector, then reverse it and screw back into the proper position, snapping the supporting bracket back on as well. Mount the Nutrik on the outside, then thread one screw at a time, twisting on the nut and washer on the other side, or carefully moving on to the second one. If space is tight and you're having trouble securing it by hand, you can use tweezers or pliers to hold the nut up to the screw, then screw it into the nut instead of trying to twist the nut itself. If you have an audio enabled board, such as the PS4 Plus Audio or the wireless fight board, which I'm using for this build, install the pass through the same way, then connect the additional wiring pins. Once that's done, assemble your buttons the same way you did with the top panel, and it's time to move on.